Right, thanks to Martin for the Janamont and the other group races. Uh, it's race 5 now, the 2 mile handicap, North 110 handicap for $3 and up. One is Darwin Starlet, Vinnie Jarrett, Busker Briggs, Josh Sutherland, October Breeze, Graham Clutterbuck, Canterbury, John Morgan, Starty Right Fast, uh, Patrick Hogan, Star Daddy, Alex Cherry, Harlem Raw, Stu Gray, Symphonic Bell, Graham Clutterbuck, Eagle Feathers, Martin Leadham, Sun Lion, Kevin Minigan, Only Eyed, Alex Cherry, and the two everyone horses are Trusted and Vanessa. 13 horses in this 2 mile handicap, and away they go. Good break by Slarty Bars Fast, and it's a Slarty Bars Fast that goes to lead from his inside Sun Lion um, for Kevin Minigan. Then comes October Breeze as they pass the, the big screen and he stands for the first time and they're about to go off on their final circus as Eagle Fires, Air Feathers has won the battle for the lead from Martin Leadham. So Eagle Feathers in front now from Only Hard in second. Then comes Canterbury for John Morgan on the outside of October Breeze. Busker Briggs just behind that for Joshua Sutherland. Then Kevin Minigan Sun Lion. Uh, Darwin Starlight is trapped in very wide for Vinnie Gerard. Um, just on the outside of Sunline is Star Daddy. They're followed by uh, the Stu Gray's Harlem Raw. Vanessa and Trust are just behind that for OV1. Symphonic Bell on the rail at the back of the field for Graham Clutterbuck as Eagle Feathers takes him along from the Grey Horse in second, only hard. They're followed by. Uh, October Breeze on the inside of Canterbury. Then comes Busker Briggs for Joshua Sutherland. Just behind that is Sun Lion. Darwin Starlight is about six wide at this stage. On the inside of Darwin Starlight, Vanessa and Trusted. In between horses, Stu Gray's Harlem Raw. Just on the inside of that is Slarty Barfast. The early leader is dropped near the back of the field. They're followed by Alex Cherry's only, um, only eye. Oh, Star Daddy, sorry. And Zephonic Bell at the back of the field. So Eagle Feathers leads. Two lengths gear of uh, the Grey Horse only eye for Alex Cherry. Then comes uh, October Breeze for Graham Clutterbuck. On the outside of October Breeze is Canterbury with Busker Briggs just on the outside of that. They're followed by uh, Sun Lion. Um, in between horses is Harlem Raw in the black colours. Green colours out wide is Don, Don and Starlet. They're followed by Alex Cherry Star Daddy. Then comes Vanessa and Trusted for everyone. On the inside of that in the yellow colours in the black cap is uh, Slarty Bar for Patrick Hogan in the back of the field of Honic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck. As the red colours, the yellow cap of Eagle Feathers for Martin Leadham leads him. Three lanes clear of Only Hard in second. Moving up on that one's outside is October Breeze is going well. Then comes uh, Canterbury for John Morgan on the outside inside of Busker Briggs. Sun Lion has been switched out to uh, try past a few horses. They're followed by on the inside Star Daddy. Harlem Raw on that one's outside. Still going very wide, Darwin Starlight. Just on the inside of that is Trusted with Slarty Bar Force in between horses. Um, the second from last is the Phonic Bell and Vanessa is now the trader. With only eight lengths first to last is they start the long swing for home. And we have a new leader, Graham Clutterbuck's October Breeze has come to the front from a pushed along Eagle Feathers in second. Travelling very strongly in back in third is Canterbury for John Morgan, we've now been pushed along. Busker Briggs is on that one's outside. Sun Lion is moving forward for Kevin Meanigan. Then comes Star Daddy, who's uh, past his struggling several companion, Only Eyed. Uh, from the back of the field, Zephonic Bell is trying to run on with a slightly barred fast. They've got four ferns left to travel, and it's Eagle Feathers still the leader from uh, a pushed along October Breeze. Sun Lion is going very strongly for Kevin Meanigan, slightly barred fast. And and Zephonic Bell have come from the back of the field and going strongly out wide. The Star Daddy's also come from the back and the Star Daddy and Slarty Barfoss will now have the advantage. Slarty Barfoss on the inside of Star Daddy. Then comes Zephonic Bell. October Breeze on the inside of that. It's Slarty Barfoss of Patrick Hogan is trying to drink clear from uh, Star Daddy. Zephonic Bell trying to throw down the challenge but Slarty Barfoss with a throw left to go has the advantage here for Patrick Hogan from Zephonic Bell in second. Slarty Barfoss of Patrick Hogan is getting wary. Here comes Zephonic Bell and also running into Star Daddy. It's Zephonic Bell. Star Daddy's running on the outside, but Zephonic Bell has got the upper hand close. Home, and Zephonic Bell's trying to draw clear for Graham Clutterbuck. Wins comfortably from Star Daddy in second. October Breeze was third. Slightly bar fast might have held on for fourth. And Darwin Starlet, I think, might have got a fifth. For Vinnie Jarrett, traveled wide the whole way. Darwin Starlet. But Graham Clutterbuck wins. The two mile handicap was the Phonic Bell, Star Daddy second, October Breeze was third for Graham Clutterbuck, Darwin Star actually did get fourth for Vinnie Gerald and, and slightly bought for him at that early move, faded out of it to finish fifth when looking a winner with a photo left to go.